Hello, friends. Welcome to New Gameplay Today. I am Alex Stadnick. I'm joined by the Dirty Dozen uh, minus 10. We're, we got Dan Tack here. Hello, sir. I'm proud to be one of the Dirty Dozen. Who are, who are the other 10? Uh, <laughs> well, that is for the next NGT. Stay tuned. And then the other the other founding member here, Marcus Stewart. Hello, sir. Hello. It's uh, getting real grimy today. There we go. That is exactly what we're playing today is grime. And that's oh. all I know about this. So, Dan, Marcus, take it away. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, it's creepy. So this is sort of the, uh, I guess, the first boss of the game. And here we get a good sense of what we're looking at here. This is, a, you know, hey, let's just break it down. This is a Metroidvania Souls-like, okay? And we've seen a lot of these in in, in recent uh, in the recent timeline. And that doesn't mean I want them to stop coming. Keep them coming. Uh, I seem to, uh, you know, the more the merrier in this in this world of ours. For sure. Uh, uh, so yeah, we're fighting a boss here. You can see the uh, the pulsing red things. You can't parry those, but this game has a pretty advanced parry system called absorption. Okay. And basically when you parry stuff, you get more Estus Flask to heal yourself. So if you're not parrying, you don't have enough stuff to get you to heal up. And oh. that's, uh, so you're really encouraged to parry. Also, another system in this game is getting these new traits and abilities that you can only get by killing enemies with the parry. So you're going to be doing the parry a lot. And you parry with your head, which is a black hole. Oh, oh, OK. And now I see what we're cooking with with gas, apparently. Um, so uh, I see you're using the patented Dan Tack big club. Is that is there options for your weapons or is that just what you start out with? So you do have, you find a bunch of weapons pretty early on here, mm -hmm. uh, including the big club. The big club, not even the biggest item I found in the very opening hours. Uh, there's something much bigger that I can't wield yet. It's okay. like a giant column from a pillar uh, that requires 15 strength to use. So I can't wield that yet. But yes, I do tend to gravitate toward heavy weapons. Although in, a, in, a, in the Metroidvanias, I find, as opposed to the third person action souls likes, that these kind of weapons can get you into trouble. Mm. Uh, really big commitment uh, on these swings. Of course, that's that's true for for all of them. Just saying in general, but yeah, I favor like the 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 big hits. You know, we'll yeah. see if that carries through as I play through the game. For sure. Now, Marcus, you have you've played the demo as well, correct? Yeah, uh, this game kind of came in hot for me because I was putting together the uh, top upcoming indies list that I published last week, which you can read on GameInformer.com. And I pretty much finalized the list until I got a, an email about this game. And I was like, oh, Grime, that's a weird name. And look at this guy. He's got a black hole for a head. That's wacky. <laughs> oh, there's a free Steam demo. Well, I'll check that out. Why not? And yeah, I I had a, I went into this kind of pretty lukewarm, like Dan kind of joked earlier. I was like, okay, Souls like Metroidvania, you know, there's a dime. That's a dime a dozen, right? And it was like the more I played and the more I got in, and I really liked the uh, the parry system, like the idea of having to basically suck up your enemies to learn their uh, abilities and apply them to yourself. I was like, okay, there's there's something here, and I'm I'm enjoying myself. And by the time I got to the end of the demo, which was that boss fight we saw at the beginning, I was a little disappointed. I kind of found myself feeling like I want to keep going with this for sure. Uh, so yeah, like there's something there for sure. And it's a it's a really cool uh, just concept in general. Okay. Do y'all do y'all have any concept of the story, or is it very, uh, very much like a Souls, where it's you know very um, not ethereal, but very like the the world building is in the world, right? The story is in the world. So there, there's a story, but we don't you don't really get a whole lot of it. I don't think immediately. Okay. Um, there's like a dude that talks to you, and he keeps talking about how everyone around you is hideous and you're like perfect you're like a everyone's kind of made out of stone from what i remember right dan yeah even and... even just early on there are we've there's a lot of npc interaction so i i'm certain that there'll be some kind of uh, closed narrative at the at the end of this but again this is an action rpg like many you know many games in this in this subgenre so i wouldn't I wouldn't come here expecting a visual novel mm -hmm. uh okay just to be just to be very clear on that yeah, for sure. It seems like this is very much if you liked something like Hollow Knight, this could be up your alley. Or am I um, misrepresenting? No, yeah, you're you're right. You're right in the same exactly the same ballpark for like Ender Lilies, Hollow Knight, uh, any of these, any of the Metroidvanias or Soulsvanias or whatever you want to call them. Let's not get hung up on terms. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, what we have here is a, a very stylized, like I've heard some people be like, oh, I don't like the way this game looks. I, you know, I kind of dig it. It's very unusual. Uh, and it probably won't work for everybody, but it's kind of like, it's just like this really creepy and grim painting kind of style to it. And it's, uh, it's intrigued it's me. Surreal. Like that opening area, you see like eyeballs staring at you and all the, uh, the architecture, or I guess like the stone. Um, and, uh, what you were saying about Hollow Knight, I think that sticks too, even with the map system. Cause, uh, if I remember correctly, like you don't really see the whole map until you get to like checkpoints that kind of reveal it. In, in Hollow Knight, you have to buy the map from, from one of the characters. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so like you find beacons in this game that I think give you some more clarity to the areas around. Although again, I'm, I'm hardly an expert. I've only, we're seeing, uh, I'm about an hour farther than than this footage. Okay. I'm, I'm and I, like I said, I, I'm intrigued by by what's to come. It's it's interesting getting new traits and abilities and and weapons as I try to increase my stats to use things and, and just kind of like exploring around, trying to find stuff. There's like there there might even be too many secrets in this game. Like there's just like uh, every if you see a wall, you basically are trained to try to break it. And this, there's there's so many of them, okay. so many breakaway walls and and secret passages and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like a bad marriage. Too many secrets. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, getting real on uh, NGT today. I like it. Exactly. I'm not married, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> You're not speaking group experience. Not, not anymore. There were too many secrets. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's the secret, is that uh, she doesn't know that we're not married anymore. Oh, that's Ooh. awkward. It sounds like you have a lot more to deal with off this <laughs> this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy playing grime. Ah! <laughs> it's very, very grimy of you, my friend. Um, cool. So, and, and for something like this, I think that's why Hollow Knight is so, you know, uh, it, no game's perfect, right? But like Hollow Knight really nails the the feeling and the controls of of the Metroid Souls ask game. D are the controls pretty solid here as well? Um, are you are you finding yeah, you're battling with one them? element that uh, I think I need to play, but I do, do not find them as quite as good mm -hmm. uh, control wise as as say Hollow Knight. But they're they're certainly they're certainly good. You know they're solid, but yeah. they're not they're not Hollow Knight. Um, in terms yeah. of snappiness, I don't think, and that's that's okay. Again, I, it's hard for me to say accurately since I've been using the big old honking two-handed club, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. that is not exactly a finesse weapon. No, um, no, it is not. Yeah, but, but, not... but the parry timing, you know, you do have to get it down, and that takes time. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're not doing a bunch of crazy combos, like you said. It's a lot, a little bit more deliberate, even with faster weapons. Like I got like daggers or something that you like. It's a little lighter weapon. And kind of like Dan said, like it feels fine, but not as good as something like Hollow Knight or even Ender Lilies for that matter. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think I think Ender Lilies was also had had just snappier animations, I guess. But this is not me whacking at this game. I mean, though, you know, we're doing a new gameplay today because I am intrigued by it. But like, yeah, perhaps not as responsive as as Hollow Knight or Ender Lilies for sure. So, so maybe the, so maybe this is. If you're interested, right, and you've already played Ender Lilies this year and want want some more, like this could be this could be a good, uh, not palate cleanser, but, uh, but something to keep that those that fun going. So, yeah, keep keep the party going. Indeed. Keep these, you know, these Metroidvanias don't look like they're slowing down anytime soon, and I'm all, I'm all for that. Uh, I'm a big fan of the subgenre, so yeah, let's let's keep it coming. More oh, Metroidvanias. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing, gentlemen. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, if you are interested in Grime and you're thinking to yourself, oh God, it's gonna be years before I play it. Wrong! It's out today on PC and Stadia, apparently. Um, it, it's out right now, that's true. You can play it right now. Right yep. now. And that, and that demo is still on Steam if you wanna try it before you buy it. It's a beautiful thing. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Viewers, as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We have tons of stuff on other Metroidvanias, uh, especially with Metroid Dread coming out uh, later this year. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. So thank you all, be good to each other, and we'll see you next time. Bye.